Hey guys, we're gonna try something a little different here. Let me show you some of these bird beaks. This one's a very defined one. Got the attention of some of the local archeologists out here. We've got a lot of similar stone ones here, a little more abstract. And a little cardinal head here as well. You guys can see the similarities there between them all. We've got a lot of painted stones here to go through. Try to keep it in the middle of the camera for us. Now, before you run off, we also have some pressure plate tools. So don't worry if you're just used to common archeology, span we do have some of that stuff out here as well. So a lot of us are, and if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't have seen it, but this is the, uh, I call it the toy, the, um, the child's toy. This is a multifaceted art piece that is, of course, painted on the, the top there in red. He's a cardinal. But if you put him like this, he's also a cardinal. The red part becomes his beak now, and this is the top of his head. You know how the cardinal has that little flat top on his head. He's a lot of things. He's also a, a dog head, as you can see there. If you look at the colors and the, the black spots there. And then on the other side, He's a goose head. And he's got the little nostrils there for a goose. This is a bird effigy site where I've collected all these. The whole entire area around the mound is surrounded by these little bird effigies. Have very uh, varying types, different kinds. Many of them are much the same. So I've also got some very interesting little totem guys, little totem men. You can see how this was chiseled out. You'll probably see an eye in here. Very interesting, I think. Here we have some more painted face stones. This is a piece of quartz that has a painted face on it, as you can see. I'll go ahead and put it so it's not upside down for you, I'm sorry. It's hard to look at this camera and know which way is up the way I have it positioned, but I think I've got it, I think I've got it now. It's also a, a face on here as well. You can see the crystal eye right there. There's some of that polish, that quartz polish. This is a, a ancient piece of art made to resemble a face. The other side has a cardinal on it. If you guys are new to the channel, you haven't seen this one, but the subscribers probably have seen this one already. So these are some of the great bird effigies that I have. Some very large ones. I think I want to get just a little more light on some of these. Show you. So this is resembling like a big beak bird, like a toucan maybe. This is a cardinal head, as you can see. Try to find the right spot to put this light at. I just don't feel like we have enough light. I'll go ahead and kill the light. So this is a cardinal head. You see this is the top of his head and this is the beak. Like a little hand totem. This is a large bird effigy. I showed this earlier in a different video. Very beautiful, long wings. He might actually have another bird in there. So normally it would be a full bird and then a more abstract bird in flight. There's also different images on him. As far as face totems are concerned, there is the, the downward pointing nose, such as the guy here that we all know from Cahokia. Mm -hmm. This is a duck head. This is a style that they use. Uh, it's kind of a, a curved 
neck and then his head would be another level so it's going to be three levels one level here one level here and then one level down there and you can see that cheek sticking out i hope the lighting is okay i feel like it's pretty dark so we also have some beautiful pieces of quartz here uh, and crystal but before we get to that, I'll show you some of these weird shapes here. Hopefully this camera will stay focused. I'll go ahead and show you this whole tray of painted stones and bird effigies. There are several on here. Many of them have paint still on them, as you can see, red paints. Some of them just have little birds uh, painted on them in different areas of the stone. This would be another so the recessed bill there, the top of the head, and then the eye right here. And it also resembles the bird in flight. I don't think the lighting is super great right now. So I'm going to go ahead and probably cut this off. Make it a little bit of a quick one for you all. I just want to show you some of these painted rocks. The birds. That are within them. See how that resembles a bird, right? This is a common... Uh, bird stone, which are found in North America. I've seen pictures of these as well at different sites and museums. There are several different types of these birds. This is also one of my favorites. This is the bird in flight. So these totems, they fit in the left hand. Everything will fit in the left hand for the, as far as these smaller bird totems, which is a very good thing to know if you guys are trying to collect these. You know, you just find these weird little odd shapes here, and you go ahead and put them in the left hand, and they'll fit in there perfect. You see how that has that groove inside there? It goes right in the crease of your hand. You close it, and it makes the outside of your hand, the, your pointer finger, kind of stick out. And every single one, they fit the same. Even the bird stone here which still has some red paint on it. So this guy, he would go like this. See how he, he's gonna fit right there with the pointer finger? And he's gonna point your finger out. They all fit in the hand the same exact way. The Smithsonian tells you to check the fit of the tool in your hand, and that's what I do. This is gonna be much of the same. It's formed to fit into your hand so that you can carry it easily in your left hand. Move on to a couple of quick faces here. This is a quartz, of course, face with a square eye. He actually has an arrow pointing at him as well, right here in the top. You can see a chiseled out arrow there. He's gonna resemble a bird in some which way as well. Still a little muddy, still a little dirty, but I try not to wash these off too much because I wanna retain the paint on them. It's another piece of that painted quartz and with a little bit of polish on the top. I found all these painted pieces at one time. This is some type of anteater perhaps, but it's also a, a portrait of a person in here. This is the more defined person. You can see the eye there and his hair or his headdress coming back. Painted on there. This, of course, his nose here. You just get a good look at that. Pretty neat, right? I think it's really awesome. If you're new, you guys haven't seen the map yet. This is a map of rivers.
tablet perhaps of rivers. This is another stone here that has a lot of lines on it. You might be able to catch some symbols and things within this. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to be taking these rocks out of my house again because they have little bugs on them. This is a bird, a cardinal, again, painted. You can still see some of the paint on his beak and his carved in eye. Maybe some other things going on with him as well, I'm sure. So, looking from this side, you can see a chiseled in eye, and a little mark for the nose. I'm sorry, for the mouth, rather. rather. <laughs> You can still see some of the paint and things on here. This bird is one of my new favorite birds. Keep it right side up for you. Here's the beak. You gotta get them just right. You know, you can look around here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Once you get it in that, that correct uh, position, it pops right out at you. So... It's pretty neat. This is a very beautiful bird. Of course, you can see the way they use the crystal. I can get it focused for us. They use the natural stone and carved around that. They made this eye in here. Go ahead and try to put the flashlight underneath this one. I've made these little cards. I take the gateway piece around town and I show people. And then I just give them these little tiny cards. <laughs> Sorry for some of these things to be being upside down. This orientation of the camera is a little new for me. And making videos in general is pretty new for me too. So I'm going to throw some light behind that so that you guys can maybe see a little better. They use the natural lines of the of the quartz and the stone. They were very, very intelligent. This was part of their religion where they only had rocks. They only had stone. They only had nature. Go ahead and show us this bird. See if I can lower that light a little bit. It's so bright. You see that the eye is dug out to be clear. And that's better like that. This is a bird head. And it's also a, a totem picture of a person. I'd like to show you this face totem. He lights up very nicely. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It's picking up on too much of the LED lighting. However, you can see a lot of the carvings here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this light out and show you. Maybe I'll have to show you tomorrow in the sun. But you can see where the polish is. This is a face totem, a depiction of a human being in a little tiny piece of crystal. What else can I show you guys? I've taken in quite a bit, but I really, uh, it's hard to kind of see all this and go through it all at the same time showing you guys all these things. Some of it you just kind of have to look at and see for yourself. I see more things as I look at my own videos here as well. All right, so the last ones here we'll show. We have some Beard Mohawk guys. The lighting isn't gonna be very good for these. So that's okay there, you can kind of see. This would be the eye, the nose, and those mouth. Those little lips poking out. If we look on the other side, it's gonna be the same deal. And you'll see those same little lips poking out. You'll see a carved in eye. Headdress coming back. We'll flip them over. See another eye carved in there, nose and mouth. If 
flat top. This one is actually the same type of style. So they had, just like any craft, they had styles to this. On the edge of this, maybe, maybe the snake, the serpent, eating the egg, such as the, the one at the serpent mound. I'm not very good at seeing the serpents. I'm really good at seeing the birds and the faces though. I think showing you guys the faces first is important. Or I'm sorry, the birds rather is important because that's how I learned how to see this. This is a point, some type of old point. This was not found at the site. This was found somewhere else, out west in Reno. A long time ago before I knew about any of this. It feels like a long time because this has all been quite intense. So for the last one here, go ahead and show this beautiful statue. Um, if you're not seeing any of this, at least you can know, um, at least you can tell that, you know, quartz doesn't just end up like this. This is a face totem as well. So you got his eyes, nose, and his mouth there. He's got that long chin. You start to pick up on the archetypes. You can see how his hair is ruffled there. This is a beautiful piece of art, one of my favorites that I have. On the other side, he has a cardinal here. There's a beak, his tail coming down and his back. You're just looking at just the rays section, covering all the rest of this up. You can see how the tail feathers come down. Looking at him from the side here, he's also a cardinal. This is his beak right here. Might not be able to see this one. Took me a little while to see it, but this is also a cardinal here, and now his back wings are going kind of like back there. He's in flight, perhaps. Maybe just ignoring that little section there. The whole thing is a parrot. He's on the back of a parrot. The cardinal still remains when you see the parrot. And then looking at him like this, he is the Salmon of knowledge, the fish. Ancient America underestimated. We thought we knew, but we're just now discovering. They wanted us to know. They put these arrows pointing at some of these faces so that we could tell. Thank you guys for watching and uh, putting up with the video quality. <laughs> See the green paint on here before we go? See if I can shine just a little bit of light on that. Show you some of those green specks that is in that. You see the green paint on this piece. This bird, one of my favorite new birds, you can see as well. Hopefully you can see. I'm gonna take the light away so you can. So there's that same exact green paint on here as well. Very dark green paint. Okay, it sounds like my dinner's done. So thank you guys for watching and have a great one. Bye-bye.